Chapter 1 Narichan, will we meet again tomorrow? It must be Narakuan, tomorrow I will come here with Oniaitama. I'll be waiting here, don't forget to invite Sochan, I want to show you something. Of course. Little promise, yes. Pinky promise. Riasama, let's go right away. All right, Grafia Nesama. I'll go home, Narakuan. Be careful, reach on. Talk. 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 A knock on the door woke a girl from her sleep. Rias, are you awake yet? Asked the person across the door. I woke up, Akino. Wait for me in the club gathering room, she said. All right, said Akino. Then the girl with long red hair walked to the bathroom not far from the bed and immediately got ready. Does Rias often clean this room, thought Akino, who looked around the area which looked shiny clean. Time skip. If my guess wasn't wrong, you dreamed about him again, right Rias said Akino, who saw the leader and his best friend Pensive while walking beside him. You do know me, Akino. Rias could only say softly. During the trip to the classroom, many shouted at the two of them and stared with reverence. There are also those who fantasize about being the boyfriend of one of these great Wanisama. Looks like your popularity is still high, Rias said someone who was leaning against the pole near the stairs. As you can see, Sona said Rias passed without looking at Sona. Of course, it made Sona look at her childhood friend then turn to Akino, but before Sona could say Akino cut her off. As you are thinking Sona-sama, she says, while Sona can only sigh and then follow Rias to class for lessons. Time skip. Finally, the lesson was over and all the students rushed home, but Rias and Akino immediately returned to their places to have a welcoming party for Issei and Asia. Are you going to ask him? He is after all, Akino's words were interrupted as Rias immediately looked at him with a displeased gaze. I'm not happy that you are discussing him, said Rias in a loud voice and made everyone there stare at them. Anobucho, who did Akino-san mean, said Issei. Nobody Issei, said Rias. You can't be like this forever, Rias. He is your family just like us, said Akino. Why did you even raise him, just let him die at that time, said Akino again. You don't know how he feels that you ignore it wasn't you who told Issei and Asia that we are the Grimmery family who love and care for their peerage, said Akino again and continued to press Rias. You know why I raised it and you also feel the strong air that is on it. I thought what Aniisama said was right, but I was wrong to raise it. Not that you can do whatever you want just because he's not what you think Akino said in a rather high tone. I guess that's enough Rias. They looked to the door and saw Sona and her queen Tsubaki into the room. What do you mean, Sona? I said the right thing, said Rias. Did he ask you to resurrect him? Was he the one who forced you to resurrect him? Have you ever thought about how he felt when he heard everything you said? Have you ever thought a little about his feelings? Answer my question, Rias Grimmery. Finally came out all the grievances that Sona had been holding back. Kiba, Asia, Issei, and Kaneko, who knew there would be a long debate between Rias and Sona, tried to get out of the room. Maybe this isn't my place to say Rias-sama, but everything Sona-sama said is true. I once saw Naruto-san on the hill not far from school. You know what I saw there, he was in a state full of need to practice, and what surprised me the most was a wound across his back, and to my horror was the many stitch marks on his shoulders, chest. I also heard him say, at least I can protect myself and not bother Rias and the others, said Tsubaki. I didn't mean to lecture you, Rias-sama, but every sentient being both devils, fallen angels, and angels have their own weaknesses and strengths. Maybe Naruto-san is weak in terms of strength and magic, but he is good in terms of intelligence, even Sonasama lost to him in chess, she added. The point is, Rias, what Tsubaki said is that every being has its own strengths and weaknesses. Sorry if I ruined your welcoming ceremony, said Sona, looking displeasedly at Tsubaki for telling them about his defeat. It doesn't matter, Sona-sama, we can do it another time, said Akino on behalf of Rias. 
I just want to give a copy of the document sent by Onisima to me this morning, said Sona, handing over a brown envelope. You will definitely be surprised to see it. Akino took the envelope and read its contents. This is Dash Akino's words did not end then turned his gaze toward Sona and Tsubaki. Then I beg your leave, there are still unfinished files then Sona and Tsubaki left and returned to the student council room. Rias you have to read this file said Akino who brought out Rias's reverie. I didn't have time to read the document she said to his office chair. But you have to dash Akino's words didn't end. Rias cut her off. Whatever Rias, I will catch up with Kiba and the others. Akino then left the room not forgetting to leave the envelope that she had been holding. Meanwhile Rias walked towards the window and looked at the sky that was approaching evening with a breeze that brushed her face, but without realizing it, Rias, Sona, Tsubaki and Akino had someone watching them. More and more interesting. At the place of Issei et al., Kiba-san, may I ask? Asia asked. Of course, what do you want to ask Asia-san, said Kiba. Who did Akino-san mean earlier, said Asia. Kiba and Kaneko stared at each other and sighed slightly. Issei do you know how many pawn pieces Riaspucho used to revive you, asked Kiba. Seven of Issei's words stopped while looking at Kiba and Kaneko. That's right, Issei Senpai, Riaspucho has another pawn besides you. Kaneko's words made Issei and Asia shocked and then spoke again. If Bucho has another pawn, why wasn't he there during my and Asia's introduction, said Issei and Asia agreed with Issei's words. Because Naruto Kuen doesn't have anything in him and Rias guessed wrong, they all looked back and saw Akino walking towards them. What do you mean Akino-san, said Issei. Naruto, who do you mean Issei was shocked to hear the name he was so familiar with? Namike's Naruto, 18 years old, is currently working as a part-time worker at the Ichiraku shop. Then you can see a picture of Naruto in a magic circle that Akino made. Asia, who saw Issei's shocked face, then said, Do you know him, Issei-san? Asia asked, I no longer know him, I have considered him as an older brother, and he is the only person who does not stay away from and blaspheme me because of my pervertedness. He even helped me from a senior who tried to gang up Issei said while staring at Naruto. How did Riaspucho hate Naruto-san in the first place, Akino-san? Asia asked. As I said earlier, initially before we watched Issei, Rias got a message from Lucifer Sama to keep an eye on Naruto because ten years ago there was an explosion not far from the school and when Grafia Sama and the others arrived they found many fallen angels and members of the old malfaction who were killed and there is also a seven year old boy with dragon horns and arms who is standing not far from there and his magic pressure is equivalent to a high class devil or even higher. Akino explained everything she knew. Then where did that boy go? Didn't Lucifer-sama's army catch him? said Kiba. Before Grafia-sama freezes his movements, a magic circle takes the boy away, he explained. Then what's the relationship with Naruto-senpai? asked Issei. Perhaps. Beelzebub-sama initially confirmed that the aura of the child ten years ago with Naruto had the same aura, but when naruto Kuen was attacked by a fallen angel and was awakened by Rias, all of Beelzebub-sama's guesses and guesses were wrong. After checking in the laboratory in the underworld, Naruto confirmed that it was only an ordinary human and nothing special about him as originally thought. From then on, Rias felt regretful for resurrecting her. This news was also heard by the elders there. They were all regretful and told Rias to remove Naruto's evil pieces because they were considered embarrassing for the Grimory and Bale families. Only Zikram Bale Sama, who opposed those words which made Venalana Sama, Lucius Sama, and Lucifer Sama feel relieved that the elder leaders rejected the call, said Akino. Since then, Rias regretted everything she added. I can't believe this. Bucho could do all this. I will talk to him then without being able to be prevented by Issei running to the ORC building to meet Rias. They also followed Issei to the ORC building. 
in the ORC building. All this time Rius had been just standing by the window enjoying the wind that hit her face, not forgetting with her eyes closed she tried to enjoy this short time before the troubles in her life came to the human world. Rius gasped as suddenly the door was violently opened by Issei who was running towards her. I've heard everything from Akino-san, Bucho. Why are you treating Naruto-senpai like that? Answer me, Bucho. Issei then shouted because his words were not answered while punching on the wooden window frame and his hands were scratched and bleeding. You've heard everything right Issei answered Rius. I still can't accept what you did to people I respect. Take me out of your family members. Issei's words shocked everyone and Rius quickly looked at him. You will do the same to me if your guess is wrong. Why does Naruto Senpai have to feel all of this? He's a good man. You better just let him die than you ignore him. It doesn't feel good to be ignored because I've tasted it before. No one wants to be friends with me except Matsuda, Motohama, and Naruto Senpai. Naruto Senpai taught a lot of life lessons and I will fight anyone including Lucifer and my own king if they underestimate and belittle the people I respect. Asia just hugged Issei and calmed her down, while Rius gave a brief breath then walked towards her table. Maybe a bowl of ramen can calm you down Issei, don't forget the half-boiled egg. All of them except Rius looked away and saw Naruto walking towards them. I didn't feel his arrival thought Rius, Akino, Kiba, and Kaneko. Sorry Bucho, I entered this room, I just handed over the results of the leaflet from the call Akino-san gave me three days ago, he said. Akino took the paper because Rius had been silent all this time. Naruto-senpai, why aren't you angry at being treated like this, said Issei in a high tone. I'm not angry for being treated like this by Rius, Issei. On the contrary, I thank you for reviving me even though I was of no use to him in battle, but at least I could complete the summon task and I promised myself not to be a bother and not to embarrass Rius and the others because of my weakness. I accept everything that happens in my life because this has become my destiny, said Naruto, then bent his body and gave a smile that could make all the girls their blush, including Rius herself. I will try in various things and will make the House of Grimory even better known, but I can't help you in realizing your dream of winning every match because I don't have what you have. Issei and the others could only look sadly and Naruto looked down and instantly raised his head. I invited you to my workplace. I will treat you especially to Asia-chan and Issei. Don't worry, it's not only ramen that's being sold. All the food is there, said Naruto. You can go to Riospucho J- said Naruto with Issei who pulled Naruto's hand walking out. Let's go Naruto Senpai said Issei who pulled Asia's hand, followed by Kiba and Kaneko. You heard it yourself Rius, he never hated you instead thanks you for being resurrected. You must have felt it too, right, when he entered this room, none of Kiba, Kaneko, you and I felt her air. That means the training is showing results, and I hope you won't regret it in the future. Then Akino went after Naruto, etc. Time skip. At the shop. Please order what you want, I'll be the one. Think of it as a welcome from me, said Naruto who was dressed for work. I'm Tonkatsu Ramen and Miso Ramen and Ice Lemon Tea. Don't forget the boiled egg bonus you promised, said Issei with a grin. I'm hamburger steak cheese, drink the same as Issei Kuen, said Kiba. I'm maple tofu, said and Oka, said Asia. I'm sushi, said and Oka, said Akino. I ordered machi, ice cream sundae, lava cake, and cheesecake, said Kaneko with a beaming face. Kaneko-chan, you can break Naruto Senpai's pocket, said Issei while laughing a little. Ha ha ha, it doesn't matter, Issei. Please order another. Your order will come soon, said Naruto who headed to the kitchen to prepare everything. May we join you, they saw Sona and Tsubaki who entered the shop. Naruto looks like you have another guest, said the shop owner who served them drinks. Is it true? Oh, you Sona-san and Tsubaki-san, said Naruto. Please sit down and want to order what he added. 
Tsubaki and I ordered curry rice and just drink oka, said Sona. Okay, please wait then Naruto hurry to the kitchen. Looks like Rias isn't coming with you, says Sona while confirming her glasses. As you can see, Sonasama said Akino, who represented the others. They continued their good talk about school even until a short call contract arrived and they enjoyed the food that had been served. Thank you for the food, Naruto slash Naruto Senpai, said Sona, Tsubaki, Akino, Issei, Asia, Kiba, and Kaneko. You're welcome, everyone said Naruto, who showed a smile and succeeded in making the girls their blush. Oh yes, Sona, may I ask something? asked Naruto. What do you want to ask Naruto-san? said Sona. What do you know about the House of Targaryen? Because as far as I can remember, the name Targaryen is not on the list of elite families in the book that you lent me before, said Naruto, then made Sona startled and unconsciously let go of her grip on her oka cup and looked straight at Naruto. With a look of shock, fear, and a worried feeling. While the others were also shocked by the reaction Sona gave, and they also didn't know the name at all, especially Issei and Asia who were new to being a devil. How did you know about that, said Sona looking at Naruto with a horror face. Everyone was silent for a moment, but without them knowing there was someone sitting not far from them who was listening to their words. Just waiting for the right time, he thought. To be continue. Previously at Dragon Blood. Oh yes, Sona, may I ask something, asked Naruto. What do you want to ask Naruto, said Sona. What do you know about the House of Targaryen? Because as I recall, the name Targaryen is not on the list of elite families in the book that you lent me before, said Naruto, then made Sona startled and unconsciously let go of her grip on her oka cup and looked straight at Naruto with a look of shock, fear, and a worried feeling. While the others were also shocked by the reaction Sona gave, and they also didn't know the name at all, especially Issei and Asia who were new to becoming devils. How do you know about that, said Sona looking at Naruto with a face of horror. Everyone was silent for a moment, but without them knowing there was someone sitting not far from them who was listening to their words. Just waiting for the right time, he thought. Chapter 2 I asked once again Naruto, where did you hear that name? Tell me, asked Sona, holding her shoulders tightly. They were shocked by the reaction given by Sona, especially Tsubaki. Flashback on. It appears in a diner someone is cleaning tables and chairs with great enthusiasm and fast because it is starting late at night. Is it finished, son? said the shop owner. Soon after Ojizen, Ojizen can go home first. I can take care of the rest for you, said Naruto. Thank you for your help, son. I'm glad you helped and worked in this old tavern, he said. You don't need to be thankful, Ojizen. I should thank you a lot for giving me a job, said Naruto. Okay, I'll go ahead, kid. It looks like my gout has relapsed, he said. Immediately take a break, Ojizen. I'll put the key in the usual place, said Naruto, and then he remained alone. I'd better hurry, he thought. When he was about to resume work, he suddenly heard a voice in front of the shop. When he was seen, he saw an old man with old clothes holding a cloth and holding a stick which indicated that he was blind. Immediately Naruto hurried to help and laid the poor old man on a long chair near the window. Then take a drink for the grandfather. Finally you wake up to Ojizen, said Naruto while trying to make the old man sit down. Oh yes, this is drinking then Naruto helped the old man drink and he could see a sense of relief from the look on his grandfather's face. You are a good person, son, and a good person deserves the best. Your path is still very long and very winding. Of course you need people around you to help you and if someday there is something you really want to achieve but feels far away for you, then forget it, he said as he felt for and held Naruto's hands with his. I don't understand what you mean, Ojizen, said Naruto. You really understand what I'm saying. Thanks for the drink, he said, patting Naruto's hand. And this is a small gift from me. I hope you like it while handing over a packet of cloth. And when Naruto opened it, there were two old books, but the two titles caught his attention. 
Why do you have this? When Naruto was about to stare at the old man, he was not there. NB, stories from Naruto only limit here. Meanwhile, at the old grandfather's place. I thought you were the son of him, he said, then changed his clothes from shabby clothes to those of nobles. How is the result of your observation, Zikram Bail Sama? asked the aide. Like I thought he was their son, even though there is something like a seal that blocks the energy beam, but I can still feel it, he replied. No wonder he is only worth one pawn piece. There is a seal holding the evil pieces from analyzing the resurrected person's abilities. Do you think she put the seal in order to protect Naruto-sama? asked the aide. Maybe it was she who planted the seal. So that Naruto does not become the target of other factions, replied Zikram. What's your next step? Are you going to tell this to Yandai Mao? In the meantime, only you and I will know about this. I also want to see the elder's reaction to this news. For now I will watch him from afar and see the young devils in this city, namely Rias Grimri and Sona Citri, said Zikram. Are you going to meet Rias Sama and Sona Sama regarding this? asked the aide. They have nothing to do with this even though Naruto is one of Rias Grimri's peers, but he treats him badly and it seems Naruto loves Rias Grimri, he replied. But Riyasama's attitude and behavior towards Naruto-sama is not very good, but he is not angry at all, said Sebastian. Maybe that's what is called blind love or real love, he replied. Are you going to punish Riyasama for what she has done instead of the House of Grimory being very fond of their peers, said the adjutant. It's not my right to do it, but the news about Rias doing this is already known by her parents and her brother is Mao Lucifer right now. They really regret their actions, he replied. Can a pawn get out of the peerage of an aristocrat? asked Sebastian. Of course, even the king can immediately set up evil pieces like in Rius's case, but his family and Lucifer himself forbid him to do it, for whatever reason, said Zikram. Have you ever asked Lucifer Sama or the other Mao about the reason for forbidding the removal of those evil pieces, because as we know, Rius Sama doesn't like one of those pieces which are worth one pawn. And my question is why, when Naruto-sama was dying, was attacked by a fallen angel, at that time they still resurrected even though they already knew the value of a pawn, asked Sebastian. They especially Ajuka just said that Naruto is the child they felt the magical energy ten years ago and the energy that made the familiar forest animals roar in the underworld. At the time of that incident many of the old devil faction soldiers died and blood was splattered everywhere. They argue that the child is the result of a trial from the old faction who is still alive to overthrow the current Yandai Mao, but it turns out that Ajuka's estimate was wrong and they thought raising Naruto was a mistake, but they tried to accept everything, but as you know the elders would insult the family Grimory and maybe that's where Rias's hatred towards Naruto comes from. Even Yandai Mao's class couldn't feel Naruto-sama's aura at that time, said Sebastian. Most likely she put his magic aura into Naruto's body, said Zikram. But how do you know that Naruto is the son of the Mother of Dragon? Visually invisible, asked Sebastian. You remember the sword Aegon Targaryen used to conquer the underworld, he said. Yes, I remember that sword, if I'm not mistaken, its name is Dragon Wrath, which means Dragon's Anger. The blade made of valyrian steel and the hilt of the sword made of dragon teeth and horns melted with the finest iron in the underworld. Don't say the adjutant's words were answered by a nod of Zikram Bale. Only a person who has a lot of magical energy and is a direct descendant of the Aegon Targaryen can pull that sword out of its sheath. I purposely stuck the sword in front of the shop. Many tried to take the sword because of its good shape as a collection, but nothing could be reached until Naruto pulled it out without the slightest effort and confidence was getting stronger after seeing the energy emitted by Naruto when I held his hand earlier. And what you have to remember, Sebastian, Naruto's real name is Aegon Targaryen, son of Daenerys Targaryen and the true red dragon god emperor, Great Red, Zikram's words made Sebastian speechless. I wonder, Zikram Sama, how the underworld and all factions will react to this news, said Sebastian. 
Of course, there will be a lot of application proposals because he is the last member of the Targaryen family and the damn elders will feel suffocated. Ha ha ha, said Zikram, imagining their reactions. We better go back so that the elders will not be suspicious of my departure. I will leave my family here to monitor him, he added. As you wish, then they disappeared in the magic circle. Flashback off. That's the story. That happened two days ago, said Naruto, handing over another book that the old man had given him. Until now, the old man still often comes here just to stop by or something. Asked Sona, raising her down glasses. It's rare, he replied. I wonder who the old man Naruto was referring to. Why did he have this ancient book? Is he one of the three factions? Only from the devils who can access this book, moreover, only the family leader, Yan Dai Mao, and the elders can access this book in the central library. Am I calling Onizen for help? Sona thought as she looked at Naruto with investigating eyes. Ano Sona Kaishu, what book did Naruto Senpai actually accept? From the look on your face, you look shocked, said Kiba. The book that Naruto is holding is one of the ancient books left in the underworld. The history of all pillars in the underworld. And the other book is a book that is archived and forbidden to be read by young devils like me and Rius. Its place has been distinguished from other books. Only the family leaders, Yandai Mao and the elders can access the room and read this book, explained Sona. Kaicho, I've read a book explaining the history of all the pillars, but I never knew that in the underworld there were Targaryen families, asked Kaneko. I know very little about it. All I know is that they have a three-headed dragon symbol. That explains the three children that Lord Ares Targaryen and Lady Riella Targaryen have and the children of their predecessors who always had three children, some only had one. They are the only ones who have a close relationship with dragons in the past and rumors say that the Targaryen are extinct after the war between the present Yandai Mao and the old faction faction, said Sona. That's all I can say. The rest of the three I said earlier know all about the Targaryen family, she added. Cool, they are related to dragons, said Issei while looking at his left hand. Are you related to this Targaryen, senpai? Issei asked, turning his gaze to Naruto, and it caught everyone's attention except Naruto. Ha ha ha, don't joke around, Issei. I am an orphan, and I was originally a human being before being raised by Rius to become her peer even though I was only a burden to her, but I tried hard not to bother her, said Naruto in a sad tone, but immediately showed a smile that made them feel sorry for him. I swear by the Yandai Mao that Auzumaki Naruto will become a pawn that makes his king proud, and I will not lose to you, Issei, said Naruto. Of course, Naruto Senpai, we will become the strongest pawns in the underworld, said Issei, and they clashed their fists, while those who looked just smiled at the two of them. If Naruto were in my pawn, he wouldn't feel any of this. He's a person who is too good even after he became a devil, though Sona thought then she heard Tsubaki's whisper indicating they should hurry back to the student council room. Naruto, can I bring these two books? asked Sona. Please, the book belongs to the archives of the underworld, said Naruto while handing over the two books. Mina, we will excuse me first, because there is still business in the student council room, said Sona. We will also excuse you, Naruto Kuen. Do you have a call today? asked Takino. Actually, yesterday, but the client asked to be changed to tomorrow, said Naruto. Oh, Sona, I had time to cook something for the other student council members. Wait a minute then Naruto returned to the kitchen and returned with two medium-sized parcels. This is for student council members and this is for Rias said Naruto handing over two parcels, one for Sona and one for Akino. I made it for Rias on purpose because I know at this time she is busy with her paperwork and hasn't eaten until it's finished. At least this can be a bit of a block said Naruto before Akino wanted to speak. They will be happy to taste your food, Naruto, said Sona. Hopefully, said Naruto. And I hope Rius likes it, and please don't tell me this, because she definitely won't want to accept it, he added. Of course, Naruto-senpai, said Kiba. 
Oh yeah, these are all the calls I've made said Naruto handing a folder to Akino. Good night everyone, have a safe until the destination then they all left the shop. Akino glanced at Naruto and saw the look on his face and then passed following the others. Meanwhile, the man who was sitting not far from them heard all the conversation could only smile and left the shop not forgetting to pay for his meal. Should I report this information to Rias? Akino thought as she looked at Sona and the food packages she was carrying. With Naruto. Thanks for coming again, Naruto said to the last customer and cleaned the shop and went home soon, but during the trip he felt like he was being followed. Naruto suddenly maneuvered to the right and actually a spear of light came from behind him. Looks like I missed the hunt for the little devil came out a fallen angel with a spear of light in the left hand and an arrow in the right. Oh, Detenshi-san, you seem to need to learn a lot more, said Naruto. You are so arrogant, Devil Kuen. I'll teach you how to fear death. Then he turned the spear of light into sword mode and made a vault of protection so that Naruto didn't get help from his friends and then started attacking Naruto. I'll show you how power you summon this little devil Naruto took out his sword from the storage dimension and got ready in battle mode running towards the Detenshi. Meanwhile, Akino and the others had arrived at the old building where Rias was and it seemed she was busy with the summoning documents. Arbucho is coming home, said Issei, who entered first, followed by Asia, Kaneko, Kiba, and finally Akino. You guys have gone back, everyone, said Rias, looking at them. Rias Bucho, do you have work for me? asked Kiba and Kaneko. There are two for Kaneko and one for Kiba, said Rias, giving up a paper to Kiba and Kaneko. Then we will go now, then Kiba and Kaneko went using their magic circle and left Issei, Asia, and Akino apart. It is already evening, you better go home, Asia, Issei. There has been no summons for you, said Akino, who saw the two Kohai. All right then, Asia lets we go home. Bucho, don't forget to eat and finish the food, said Issei, leaving the place with Asia. What do Issei's words mean, Akino, asked Rias who had looked at the queen and her friend. When we were having a celebration at the Naruto shop, Sona came with Tsubaki and joined the celebration. When we were about to go home, Naruto packed food for the other student council members and for you because he knows that at this hour you are busy with documents until you forget to eat and this is the food. Your favorite food is gyoza, said Akino opening a food box filled with gyoza which looked tempting to eat. Tell him there is no need for him to do that again, said Rias then stood up walking towards the door but her steps stopped when Akino held her arm. I beg you this time Rias, get rid of your ego. I know you hate him a lot, but he already made these for you and at least eat one in his honor. I also don't know why you hate him so much, but he tries hard not to bother you and the others. Would you do the same if I, Kiba, Kaneko, Asia, and Issei were only worth one pawn piece? Answer me, Rias said Akino in a sobbing tone. Rias could only lower her head and her bangs covered her eyes as if she thought of all the things she had done to Naruto all this time. Starting from the insults, annoyance, and hatred that were expressed and she never saw the anger from Naruto because of all the blasphemies from him but his ego was bigger and remembering the words of the elders about his family made hatred towards Naruto even bigger. I don't care. He's the one who made those elders insult the family I really care about then Rias leaves after releasing Akino's hand grip on her. Meanwhile Akino only sobbed even more at Rias's answer and felt that the current Rias was not the Rias she knew a few years ago who invited her to become a member of her family. Meanwhile with Naruto. Head looks like you're not bad Devil Kuen but not good enough said the fallen angel who slightly rubbed his scratched cheek. You're not like your big talk, said Naruto, spitting out a little blood. You're the one with the big mouth. Try to stop this if you can, Naruto saw many fallen angels surrounding him like shadows. Which is real, he thought. Point in front of your sword, then the sword will show which one is the real one. Who said his mind looked around? But worth a try, he added. 
Naruto did according to a mysterious voice, and when he closed his eyes he seemed to be drawn by the sword towards the real one, and the sword pierced the Detenchi's stomach. You can also be a little devil, but you're the one who will die here, he said, then stabbed a spear of light into Naruto's stomach until it pierced him. Then Naruto fell to his knees and vomited a lot of blood. Ha 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 ha, you finally lost to Devil Kuin. you just had a big mouth. The Fallen Angel's faction is stronger than the Devil's faction. And Rias Grimory will thank me for killing you, he said, pulling out the sword that stabbed his stomach then pulled Naruto's hair to stare at his face. If I have to die here, at least I managed to kill the Fallen Angel who entered the Grimory territory, said Naruto while chuckling while enduring the pain. What do you mean, ha? Huh? You are the one dash before the words were finished a ball of wind pierced the Fallen Angel's stomach. How can you do that, he said, then fell while holding his mouth, which was vomiting a lot of blood. I see, you are a part of them, you are a Targaryen. Only Rieger Targaryen used this magic, he said. I'm not a Targaryen, my name is Uzumaki Naruto. Pawn Rius Grimory said Naruto trying to stand up with his breath rising and falling. You are mistaken Devil Kuin, you are a true Targaryen. Then the fallen angel didn't move anymore. Naruto fell to his knees and vomited a lot of blood and fell on his back. He 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 I finally won. Very painful. At least I can be of use to all of you. At least after this I won't make Rius ashamed of having me anymore. Is this the end of my life? I'm sorry Issei, I can't compete with you to become the strongest pawn he he he. It is like Rius beautiful hair. Naruto looked at his hands which were covered in his own blood. I haven't had the chance to say this yet but I will always love you Rius no matter how much you insult me. Maybe this is what is called blind love and one-sided love, he said with a breath that almost broke off and started coughing with blood. Even his nose was bleeding. I will always love you, Rias Grimory, my ruined crimson princess. Then Naruto closed his eyes and didn't move anymore. Meanwhile with Rias. Rias is now still struggling with her documents. Without any wind, suddenly a photo frame falls, which shows two smiling boys and girls, and the fall of the photo frame shocked her. Then a few minutes later, her bedroom window opens violently, and the wind blows. Broad autumn leaves that hit his face. Rias takes extras of the fallen photo and looks only at the part of the little boy whose glass is broken. Why is it only Naruto Kuin's part that breaks? Is he out there all right? Hope you are all right, Naruto Kuin. Was my attitude too much towards Naruto? I did the right thing. Because of him, my family was insulted by that damn elder. But I feel bad. Am I too hard on him? And this is the first time I've seen Akino sob after her mother's death was what Rius was thinking right now, and without her realizing it, she kept thinking about Naruto and fell asleep at 1 a.m. To be continued. Previously at the House of Dragon. I see, you are a part of them, you are a Targaryen. Only Rieger Targaryen used this magic, he said. I'm not a Targaryen, my name is Uzumaki Naruto. Pawn from Rias Grimory said Naruto trying to stand up with his breath rising and falling. You are mistaken Devil Kuin, you are a true Targaryen. Then the fallen angel didn't move anymore. Naruto fell to his knees and vomited a lot of blood and fell unconscious. He 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 I finally won. Very painful. At least I can be of use to all of you. At least after this I won't make Rias ashamed of having me anymore. Is this the end of my life? I'm sorry Issei, I can't compete with you to become the strongest pawn he he he. The color is like Rias' beautiful hair and Naruto looked at his hands which were covered in his own blood. I haven't said this yet but I will always love you Rias how much you insulted me. Maybe this is what is called blind love and one-sided love, he said with a breath that was about to break off and started coughing with blood. Even his nose was bleeding. I will always love you Rias Grimory, my ruined crimson princess, then Naruto closed his eyes and didn't move anymore. Was my attitude too much towards Naruto? I did the right thing. 
Because of him, my family was insulted by that goddamn elder. But I feel bad. Am I too hard on him? Chapter 3 The morning came, the sun was getting high, and there was the sound of birds squeaking. Everyone starts their activities, there are school, work, or just shopping. Kuo Academy was already getting busy with students who started arriving because the time was 7.55 in the morning. Sona and Tsubaki, as usual, do their morning activities, namely going around the school and checking the room. When on the way to their class to start class this morning. During the trip to class, many greeted him, of course, only nodded in response to them, and when they arrived at the class, it seemed the teacher was ready to start the lesson. Looks like Naruto, Akino, and Rius haven't come yet, said Sona, who walked towards her bench. Looks like that Kaicho, replied Tsubaki. It's very unusual that they haven't arrived yet, especially Naruto. He'll arrive at the class 30 minutes before the class starts. Did something happen? She asked. Maybe they are on way, Kaicho. We'll just wait. After those words came Rius and Akino. They went straight to the bench, which happened to be both of them on the same bench as Sona and Tsubaki. Why isn't he here yet? Why isn't Naruto Kuen here yet? Where is he going? That's how Sona, Akino, and Rius thought because Naruto was not present today. Time skip. The first lesson finally finished and entered the rest period. All the students headed to the canteen just to fill their stomachs or chat with each other, including Rius, Akino, Sona, and Tsubaki, who had been sitting in the corner of the canteen eating their food. Looks like Naruto is absent today. Anyone know where he is? Asked Sona to Akino and Rius. I don't know where Naruto Kuen is today, said Akino, while Rius just listened silently. It's not usually Naruto-san like this, said Tsubaki while drinking his drink. If Naruto skips today, he must have a good reason, said Sona while confirming her glasses. But it's impossible for Naruto-san to skip, Kaicho. He is one of the diligent and accomplished students. You still remember the results of Naruto-san's entrance exam to Kuo Academy, which can be said to be perfect. That's why he was able to get a scholarship from this school, said Tsubaki. They remember the first time they knew Naruto, namely during the entrance exam and the test exam for scholarships for grade 3. Sona was one of the exam team assessors, and when checking participants only Naruto got a perfect score. Not only smart, Naruto also likes to help Sona and the Asus members with organizational files. He is also smiling and friendly towards his teachers and juniors. That is what makes Naruto an idol at school besides Yudo Kiba, the Prince of Kuo. I will tell one of the student council members to see Naruto's condition, said Sona. It's good if I just saw the condition of Naruto Kuen after school, said Akino. You can't go, Akino. You don't remember today we had a match with Sona's group regarding who would look for familiar members for our new members, Rhea said while enjoying her tea. But Rius might as well go. Akino's words were cut off because Rius was staring at him and she could only sigh. All right, Rius Bucho Akino replied to Rius's words with a sarcastic tone. Sona and Tsubaki, who again saw Rius' behavior towards Naruto, could only sigh and say, Don't worry, Akino. I'll assign Momo to check on Naruto at his residence, said Sona, and Tsubaki nodded. Thank you, Kaicho, for your help, said Akino. Looks like the second lesson will start. We better go back to class, said Sona, as she stood up from her seat and walked towards the class, followed by the others. Time skip. After all the lessons are over and finally it's time to go home, everyone has returned to their respective homes or hanging out together at a cafe just to unwind after going through the day. Including Rius and Sona, along with their peerage members who gathered at the gym to compete over who was first to look for familiars for their new family members. With Momo. Is this really his home address? Said Momo who saw Naruto's residence which was in a hilly area. When Momo entered the house, or it could be said to be a hut, there was a cloth covered mat and a bamboo cloth holder. There were no TVs or things he was used to seeing in other houses. Naruto's residence was very simple. Looks like no one is here. 
Shall I go and report this to Kaicho? Then Momo left the place through his magic circle, but without realizing it, there was a creature who came with the same goal, namely to find Naruto's whereabouts. In the underworld. You can see Zikram Bale, one of the respected elders in the underworld who is sitting reading a book and his assistant Sebastian accompanied behind him faithfully. Their attention was distracted when a magic circle that featured a crow staring at him then the crow perched on his shoulder and seemed to be whispering. After finishing he immediately ordered his familiar to find where Naruto was at the moment. Looks like yesterday night, Naruto was attacked by a fallen angel and dying, but my familiar said there was someone with a red magic circle who took Naruto away before he brought Naruto to me, but he did not recognize whose magic circle belonged to said Zikram then looked thoughtful. Is it possible that Ria-sama is helping Naruto-sama? asked Sebastian. No way, he said firmly. Is that an envoy from Lucifer-sama, maybe Grafia? Sebastian continued to speculate. Zikram continued to think from the look on his face. Who brought Naruto? Did the old mouth faction know that he was the result of their project? Did I check it straight into the human world? Hope you are in good hands. Naruto Zikram just sat upright thinking about all the things that could happen to Naruto. In the familiar forest. Looks like Asia-chan is the only one who is getting familiar today, said Akino, who was fully clothed after the slime incident a while ago, while Issei, who really wanted the slime, kept her back next to Asia. That's because Issei Senpai wanted a familiar that was the same as a pervert. Kaneko's words were so sharp and sarcastic that it made Issei cry hysterically and back down even more. Era era Issei Kuen, those familiars are not only used for such things, said Akino. But Akino sent me, and he are one and the same. The others could only sigh awkwardly at Issei's answer. All right, everyone, it's time for us to come back, said Rias, who had prepared her teleport circle, and everyone walked towards the circle with Kaneko grabbing the collar of Issei's shirt, who was still lamenting her future familiar's fate, and they left the familiar forest. Meanwhile, Momo, who had returned to the student council room, immediately reported what he had gotten. Thank you, Momo. You can go back to your work. Momo just nodded and left the room. Looks like we have to check Kaicho ourselves, suggested Tsubaki. You're right, Tsubaki. I'll tell you first, then we'll go tonight. Tsubaki just nodded his head, but he could see Sona thinking about what Momo got when she saw Naruto's condition. At ORC a few hours later. All right, all good work for today. You guys can go. If anyone gets a summons, do your best and don't make the Grimmery name bad, said Rias. Yes, Bucho, they said minus Aquino. Looks like it's going well, Rias. Sona came along with Tsubaki to enter the ORC building. As you can see, Sona then Rias tells everything to Sona while Sona, who hears, just keeps quiet and immediately says, I have received a report from Momo regarding Naruto who did not enter today. Sona's words distracted those who were there, especially Aquino, who immediately spoke. What did you remember Kaicho say? Is Naruto Kuen okay? Did something happen? Akino kept hounding Sona with questions about Naruto because her mind had always been on the blonde figure who was not present in their class earlier. I'm afraid this information is not very good. I asked Urias. Didn't you buy a proper place to live for your family members because Momo told me that Naruto lived in a hut near the forest? When it was Rias who wanted to answer Sona's question, it seemed like something was blocking her throat. Have you ever seen or occasionally monitored all your members? Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you, but Naruto was the only one you noticed Sona just said while inserting a word for Rias. She didn't want to do all this, but Rias had to change her perspective immediately. Naruto wasn't wrong here. He was just a victim thanks to the selfishness of the current Mal Lucifer. That's what occurred in his mind. Tsubaki and I want to see Naruto and confirm for ourselves without waiting for Rias' reply. They left the ORC room. Bucho, didn't we see Naruto Senpai state? Asked Issei. I have business Issei, then Rias disappears within her magic circle. 
they can only surrender. They don't know what else to do to change the nature of their leader. Then Akino decided to follow Sona and Tsubaki to see Naruto's state and the rest of them followed Akino's footsteps. Where Rias is right now. Rias POV. Rias is currently in the underworld more precisely in the library at her home reading the history books of the great clans of the underworld and my attention is on the Targaryen family which has become extinct. When I arrived, the waiters were a little shocked by my arrival because I didn't come with my other peerage members like I usually do and maybe not long after that the news of my arrival spread and this is where they are my parents, my brother and Grafia coming to me at the library. Rias POV End Glad you were able to visit Rias, said Lucius Grimmery as the head of the Grimmery clan. I little miss this a place to Sama, said Rias. I'm glad you came here, Rias John. Do you miss your Oniakin? Said Serzik, who was trying to break the tense atmosphere between Rias and Venalana. Aren't you hugging Rias John, Okayasin, he added. The so-called Venalana could only stay still without moving the slightest bit from her position. Come on, Venalana, hug our daughter. Lucius hugged his wife's shoulder. Meanwhile, Venalana was motionless and they saw Rius walking towards her mother. They were afraid that there would be another big fuss between Rius and her mother like what happened before when I abandoned, ignored, and blamed everything on Naruto for the elders who insulted the Grimmery family. They had advised him, but when Rius wanted to throw Pod at Naruto without thinking and Venalana slapped him. Since then, Venalana kept Rias quiet when she visited. They saw Rias kissing her mother's cheeks and hugging her tightly as if saying that she missed her mother. Venalana actually wanted to hug her beloved daughter back, but she still felt very disappointed with what Rias wanted to do at that time. The hug lasted one minute after Rias let go of the hug and returned to her seat. They also sat in empty chairs, including Venalana. What book are you reading, Rias John? Asked Serzek. The history of the great clans in the underworld, said Rias. You are interested in the history of the Targaryen clan, but it's a shame that the clan has become extinct since Rieger and his younger sister died when the big war broke out. Rias was silent at her father's words. The atmosphere in the library is very awkward and feels stiff. Usually when they are gathered together, they will talk to each other about their activities, but this time it was very different. Grafia, can you bring us tea and some snacks? Said Serzek and Grafia nodded, but when he wanted to prepare an order, Ajuka came with fast steps and while carrying a tablet-like equipment in her hand. Serzek, we have to go to the human world. I no longer feel Naruto's presence, he said and made everyone stand up. What do you mean, Ajuka? How come? Serzek asked in a panicked and loud tone, then grabbed the tablet which saw Naruto's magic pressure graph and it seemed to them that what Ajuka said was right. Anyway, we have to immediately check into the human world Ajuka was ready to leave. We are following Serzek, said Lucius and Venalana just nodded. You also have to follow Rius no matter how much he is a member of your family. Rius could only remain silent and nodded as if she agreed. In his heart, he also felt worry for Naruto. Then they left the library to the upper world, or rather to where Naruto lived. At some place. Looks in a room with a white background Naruto who wakes up from his sleep and looks around. Where am I? Why isn't there a light spear stab mark here? Is there someone who saved me he thought then tried to get up slowly because he still felt pain in his stomach. He slowly walked around looking for someone but it seemed he was alone in this room. Is there anyone here? Looks like you are awake. Blonde Kuen Naruto immediately turned around and he saw a red-haired woman in witch-style clothing sitting in the chair of the kings holding a spear in her right hand. Who are you? Naruto asked, glaring at the woman. My name is Irene Belsirian, but I'm better known as Despair Scarlet, or you can call it Dragon Queen. Glad to finally meet you, Blonde Kuen, or I can call you Aegon Targaryen, son of Mother of Dragons, she said with a smile towards Naruto, who could make all the men kneel at him, but not Naruto, who froze, because he felt the magic aura he emitted was so great. Can I survive this woman? 
to be never continued ahaha. Ah, ah, ah.